Costa Rica, also known as the Republic of Costa Rica, is a bright and lively country tucked between the Pacific Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. It welcomes 4.5 million visitors every year. Often called the Land of the Fire, Costa Rica has 5% of all the different plants and animals in the world, making it one of the most biologically dense countries on the planet. From the old capital of Catarjo to the vibrant streets of San Jose, here are the best places to visit in Costa Rica. 12. Drake Bay Drake Bay is a remote haven known to be accessible only by plane or boat. Its isolation adds to the charm, ensuring a peaceful escape in Agujitas, a nearby town with around a thousand residents. The area stands out as one of the most biodiverse places on Earth, with Drake Bay positioned at its heart. The bay carries a historical allure, named after Sir Francis Drake, who's rumored to have hidden treasure in the area during his 16th century voyages. Among the must-visit sites is Corcovado National Park. Its hiking trails lead through environments rich with animal species. The Sirena Ranger Station, accessible by hike or kayak, provides a closer look at the area's untouched beauty and elusive wildlife. Drake Bay's less explored attractions include Punta Rio Claro National Wildlife Refuge, offering trails through rainforests to secluded beaches, and a chance to see wildlife such as sloths and crocodiles. The remote Sirena Biological Station showcases conservation efforts and hosts unique species like the Baird's Tapir. Night tours provide a glimpse into the forest nocturnal life, featuring creatures like tree frogs, owls, kinkajus, and agoutis. Committed to sustainable tourism, Drake Bay's eco-lodges and tour operators focus on environmental protection and supporting local communities. 11. Dominical Traveling down Costa Rica's southern Pacific coast leads you to Dominical, a small beach town located about 80 kilometers south of Manuel Antonio National Park. Dominical's transformation from a small fishing village to a tourist destination has been significant. The town's name derives from Domingo, a Spanish missionary who arrived in the 16th century. The main attraction, Playa Dominical, is renowned for its consistent waves, drawing surfers of varying skill levels. Close by, the Ballena National Marine Park serves as a protective haven for an array of marine life, providing visitors with the opportunity to observe these creatures in their natural setting through boat tours. Another notable site is the Naoyaka Waterfalls, accessible via a hike through the rainforest, offering a picturesque spot for swimming and photography. Playa Dominicalito, a quieter beach compared to its more popular counterpart, offers a more relaxed atmosphere. The hidden waterfall, Catarata El Salto, provides a secluded spot for a refreshing swim. La Catarata Ecológica, an eco-lodge, offers breathtaking views of the rainforest and sustainable activities like zip lining and butterfly watching. 10. Corcovado National Park Corcovado National Park, a jewel on the Osa Peninsula, unfolds over 424 square kilometers, guarding a significant portion of this lush area. This park, located in the southwest corner of Costa Rica, stretches its Pacific coastline over 46 kilometers, creating a sanctuary for both beach lovers and wildlife watchers. Corcovado's significance extends beyond its beauty. Hosting 4% of the world's known animal species, it's a critical biodiversity spot. With over half of its expanse still uncharted, Corcovado represents a frontier for exploration and conservation, underscoring Costa Rica's dedication to protecting its natural heritage. The park sets the stage for an array of activities and sites. Ranger stations serve as entry points to the wilderness. Sirena Biological Station, accessible only by boat or plane, offers rustic accommodations amid dense rainforest, promising an immersive experience. La Leona Station, on the other hand, provides easy beach access and a variety of trails. Bird watchers gravitate towards Los Patos Station, where a lagoon teams with bird life. And San Pedrillo Ranger Station presents opportunities for rainforest hikes and beach relaxation. 9. Chiripo National Park Chiripo National Park, situated in the Talamanca mountain range, is the country's largest national park, covering over 123,544 acres. This expansive park spans a range of elevations, from 2,953 feet to 12,533 feet at the summit of Cerro Chiripo, Costa Rica's highest mountain and the second highest in Central America. The park encompasses five distinct life zones. The summit of Cerro Chiripo, the park's primary highlight, offers breathtaking views of both the Pacific and Atlantic oceans on clear days. The challenging hike to the summit rewards hikers with unparalleled vistas. Along the way, Llano Bornito offers a resting spot with basic shelter and camping facilities. Nearby, El Paraíso, the main shelter for hikers, provides bunks, a kitchen, and restrooms. Other natural attractions include Laguna Vargas, a stunning glacial lake near the summit, and Los Crestones, remarkable rock formations that provide panoramic views of the Talamanca Range. 
The park is a favored destination for outdoor activities such as hiking, with trails that cater to varying skill levels and fishing is also permitted in some of the park's rivers and lakes. 8. Cartajo Cartajo is located in Costa Rica's Central Valley. It was once the nation's capital and is now known as Ciudad de las Brumas or City of Mists, a name derived from the frequent volcanic clouds surrounding its peaks. It's marked by the presence of Irazú Volcano, the country's highest active peak providing breathtaking vistas. Its proximity to San Jose, just a 30-minute drive away, makes Cartajo a convenient escape from the capital's faster pace. Among the must-visit sites, the Basilica of Our Lady of the Angels stands out. This basilica houses La Negrita, a small dark-skinned Madonna statue, attracting millions of pilgrims each August. Nearby, the ruins of the Santiago Apostol Parish Church offer a glimpse into the city's colonial past while the Lancaster Botanical Garden is home to over 1,500 species of orchids, presenting a colorful and fragrant array of flowers. The city's coffee legacy dates back to the 18th century, with local farms offering insights into the bean-to-brew process. Despite the 1963 eruption of Irazú Volcano, which blanketed San Jose in ash, Cartajo was spared, highlighting its unique resilience. And festivals like Los Gigantes, featuring giant papier-mâché figures, reflect the vibrant local culture. 7. Cajuita Cajuita sits on Costa Rica's Caribbean coast, close to the Panamanian border. This charming village offers a laid-back vibe and features a blend of Afro-Caribbean and indigenous influences. Cajuita's culture dates back to its founding by an Afro-Caribbean family in 1828. The village is small, characterized by a relaxed atmosphere and friendly locals. The heart of Cajuita is its national park, which encompasses both land and sea. The park protects a diverse ecosystem. Visitors can hike through the rainforest, relax on beaches like Playa Blanca, or snorkel among colorful coral reefs teeming with marine life. Another notable beach is Playa Negra, distinguished by its black volcanic sand and popular among surfers for its challenging waves. Just a short drive north, Puerto Viejo de Talamanca presents a lively atmosphere. The town is known for its Caribbean cuisine and vibrant nightlife. Its deep connection to Calypso music has earned it the title King of Calypso. For the best experience, visiting Cajuita during the dry season from March to May or September to November is advisable. The community's commitment to sustainable practices and ecotourism underscores its appeal as a responsible travel destination. 6. Cabo Blanco Nature Reserve Cabo Blanco Nature Reserve, on the southern tip of Costa Rica's Nicoya Peninsula, is the country's first protected area, established in 1963. This place initiated Costa Rica's renowned commitment to conservation. The reserve covers 3,393 acres, stretching for two miles, providing stunning ocean views. You can explore the reserve through hiking trails, such as a 2.5-mile Sueco Trail or the shorter Danes Trail, which leads through different landscapes and offer chances to see hidden waterfalls and impressive ocean vistas. At the end of the Sueco Trail, Playa Blanco awaits as a perfect spot for swimming or sunbathing with its calm waters and picturesque setting. Although not accessible by public trails, Playa Cuevas on the reserve's western side is a secluded beach offering a more untouched experience for more adventurous explorers. Cabo Blanco has been influential in pioneering ecotourism in Costa Rica, demonstrating the benefits of conservation and sustainable tourism. The reserve's establishment by Swedish philanthropist Olaf Westberg underscores its historical significance and his vision of creating a sanctuary for future generations. 5. Arenal Volcano National Park Located in the north-central region of Costa Rica, Arenal Volcano National Park is a standout destination. Near the town of La Fortuna, this park is home to the Arenal Volcano, recognized as the most active volcano in Costa Rica, alongside Lake Arenal, the largest lake in the country. Central to the park is the Arenal Volcano. Its active state allows you to witness nature's raw power with frequent ash and lava displays. Trails such as La Fortuna and the 1968 Trail offer pathways to closer views of this natural marvel. Lake Arenal complements the volcanic landscape, offering a serene setting with several resorts dotting its shores for your relaxation alongside nature. For a different perspective, the Mystico Hanging Bridges presents an aerial view of the park's verdant ecosystems through a series of suspended bridges. Similarly, the La Fortuna Waterfall, with its impressive 230-foot drop, invites visitors to swim in its refreshing pool. The Tabacón Hot Springs, naturally heated by volcanic activity, provide a relaxing soak in variously tempered pools, enhancing the experience with amenities like a swim-up bar and a restaurant. The exhilaration of whitewater rafting, the tranquility of a boat tour on Lake Arenal, and the thrill of ziplining through the rainforest canopy 
offer unique experiences in nature. The Mystico Hanging Bridges further enrich the visit by providing insights into the ecosystem's complexity. 4. Alajuela Alajuela, tucked within Costa Rica's Central Valley, offers a unique experience for travelers. As the capital of Alajuela province and part of the greater metropolitan area, it's often overlooked due to its proximity to San Jose. The climate is predominantly tropical, featuring warm temperatures and a rainy season from May to November that nourishes its vibrant ecosystem. Alajuela's heart is best experienced in places like Juan Santa Maria Park, where the red-domed central church stands as a landmark. The statue of Juan Santa Maria commemorates a national hero, and the Alejandro Morero Soto Stadium is a gathering place for sports fans. The Alajuela Central Market offers a glimpse into local life, with its array of handcrafted souvenirs and fresh produce. Alajuela has earned several nicknames reflecting its identity, including the Land of Mangoes, due to its abundance of the fruit. It's also recognized for its rich literary heritage, evidenced by a high number of public libraries, and the presence of traditional ox-drawn carts highlight its cultural significance. 3. Cocos Island Cocos Island, or Isla del Coco, stands 342 miles off the Pacific coast of Costa Rica, alone atop the Cocos Plate. This unique positioning contributes to its status as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Mountainous terrain dominates, with Cerro Iglesias, the highest peak, reaching 1,800 feet. For you, Chatham Bay serves as the main entry point, offering access to stunning beaches, hiking trails, and historical sites, including a cemetery and inscription rocks. Wafer Bay and Manuelita Island provide further exploration opportunities, with the former known for excellent snorkeling and diving, and the latter for its importance as a seabird nesting ground. Cocos Island's significance extends beyond its shores, serving as a critical habitat for sharks, including resident populations of hammerheads and the elusive oceanic white tip. The island is also home to over 2,000 plant species, many of which are endemic, highlighting its role as a sanctuary for biodiversity. Visiting Cocos Island, you must navigate logistical challenges, including obtaining permits and preparing for the island's remote location and conservation status. Despite the potential for rough seas and limited amenities, the island's natural beauty and the promise of adventure make the journey worthwhile. 2. Tortuguero National Park Tortuguero National Park, located in the northeastern region of Costa Rica, is a complex network of waterways, all intertwined by lush rainforest. This unique park, shaped by ancient volcanic activity, is only accessible by boat or plane, adding a sense of mystery. Tortuguero National Park, named after the green sea turtle, plays a crucial role in the conservation of these and other endangered turtle species. The park's environment is rich and humid, thanks to an annual waterfall of 250 inches, fostering a lush habitat. It stands as one of the most biodiverse regions on Earth, a paradise for bird watchers and nature enthusiasts. Tortuguero is recognized for its remarkable biodiversity, encompassing 11 distinct habitats ranging from mangrove forests to freshwater swamps. The park is famed for the spectacle of green turtles and leatherback turtles nesting on its beaches from July to October. Night tours offer a respectful way to witness this natural event. The network of canals presents opportunities for boat tours, where visitors can spot diverse wildlife in a quiet setting. You're encouraged to respect the park's guidelines to preserve its natural beauty and wildlife. Some responsible wildlife watching practices are to observe animals from a distance without causing disturbance, which is essential for the well-being of Tortuguero's diverse inhabitants. 1. San Jose San Jose, the capital of Costa Rica, holds the title of the largest city in the country, enveloped by green mountains and majestic volcanoes such as Irazú and Poaz. San Jose is affectionately known as the City of Flowers, reflecting its floral abundance throughout the year. This city's unique setting in the Central Valley provides a climate with cool nights and warm days, thanks to its elevation of 3,845 feet. Exploring San Jose offers a blend of historical and natural attractions. Barrio Amon, a historic neighborhood, showcases colonial-era architecture, alongside a vibrant street art scene, inviting you to soak in the local atmosphere. The Teatro Nacional stands out for its neoclassical architecture, serving as a monument and venue for performances and cultural events. And the Museo Nacional de Costa Rica presents a comprehensive look at the country's history, featuring pre-Columbian artifacts and colonial art. For a taste of local life, the Central Market is a hub of activity, with its array of fresh produce, flowers, handicrafts, and traditional foods. The city's lesser-known attractions provide unique experiences. Barrio Escalante has emerged as a gastronomic destination, with its selection of restaurants and cafes. The Museo de Jade displays an impressive collection of pre-Columbian jade artifacts, offering insights into the region's ancient cultures. The Juan Santa Maria Coffee Tour educates visitors on the coffee-making process, from bean to cup. Additionally, the National Gallery, located in a former prison, showcases contemporary Costa Rican art. 
The city's atmosphere is a reflection of Costa Rica's ranking as one of the happiest countries globally, characterized by a positive and relaxed lifestyle. While San Jose is considered safe, you're advised to exercise caution in crowded areas, ensuring a pleasant experience in this dynamic city. If you're looking for any tips to enhance your own personal travel and help you manage your travel budget more effectively, click the link in the description. And remember to like and subscribe to help our channel grow.